Hello, and welcome to this video on Microsoft Word. In this video, we're gonna be discussing utilizing page and section breaks to help you manage and maintain large documents within Microsoft Word. Now, I've got an example file that I'm gonna be utilizing here to demonstrate the techniques that I'm gonna be walking through. I'm also gonna supply a link where you can download this file and practice these concepts on your own as you go through this video. To get, the, to get the file, it is called Manage Large Documents 01. You're gonna hop down into the description of this video, just right down below. Look for the link for the Office New Blog, and you can download the file from there. Then you can open it up and you can follow along with me and practice these techniques. Now, while you're down there and downloading that file, if you enjoy this video, you'll learn something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, if you'd like, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates about new videos that I post here regularly on Microsoft Word, Excel, and other Office applications. All right, let's jump into this document and take a look at how we can utilize page and section breaks to help us maintain this document, large documents in general. So right now, this document's not very big. It's a single page, but it's got some header information, and it's got a bunch of content there. Now, what I'd like to do here to start out is I want this first section right here to be on its own page, kind of the cover page, the first page of the document. Then I want the content down below to start on the second page. Now, what I'm gonna show off here, it's really simple. All I'm gonna do is insert a page break. Just tell the document to break to the next page right here, right there at that return. Start a new page. That way we push all this content here to the next page and this stuff right here stays on the first page by itself. Now to do this, I'm just gonna click where I got that empty line. I'm gonna go up to my layout tab on my ribbon and I'm gonna go into breaks. Now you'll notice that there's several different types of breaks here, but they put them in the two different categories. We've got page breaks, that's what I'm gonna start out with. And then we've got section breaks. And we'll get into a section break as we continue through this video. So first off, again, layout, breaks. I've got my cursor right there in that empty spot. And I'm gonna insert a page break. So mark the point at which one page ends and the next page begins. So I'll give that a click, boop, done. I've now got that content on its own page. And if you've got your paragraph markers turned on, home tab and this little button right here, show hide, you'll be able to see the actual page break. And if I scroll down, we've now got all that content on the second page. Now I've got an extra return mark there. I can delete that out. Let's remove it. And I've still got my two pages there. Very cool, very simple, just inserting a page break. A shortcut key for you. For those that are working on a Windows system, control enter, that's your shortcut key to insert a page break. But remember, layout breaks, page break, you can do it that way as well. Now, very nice, because now I've got essentially a cover page. And maybe I'll center this text, I can format, do what I like with it. But let's take this a step further. Well, what if I now wanna put page numbers on this document? Well, if I go down to my second page, I'm gonna go down to the bottom, find where my footer would be, and I'm just gonna double click into the lower portion of the page, all the way down towards the bottom. This will activate my footer. Now I wanna put a page number in there. So with my cursor flashing there, I'll go to my header footer tab, which is now active. I'll go over to the left page number. I'm gonna use current position, and I'm just gonna put it in plain, page number. Whoop, there we go. Got my page number in there. Wait a minute. That's page two, right? That's, that's true. We are on page two. If I go up to page one where my cover page is at, there's page one. Well, depending on what you're looking for, maybe I don't want page one to have a page number on it. It should just be a simple cover page. That's it. And then on the second page, I want this to actually start at one. 
That's where my content actually starts at. Well, there's a few things we need to do here. One, if I go up to my first page, I'm just gonna make sure I click into that page. I'm gonna go to my header and footer, and inside of here, there's an option for different first page. So I don't want the header footer information that I put on page two and so on to be on page one as well. I want that to be different. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. I'll put a check in there. And there's still my got my, my cover page text, but the page number is now gone. If I scroll down below, I've got my page number still there. So now I've got a different first page for my header footer content. But I'm still starting at a number two, which once again, that might be fine. Maybe that's what we want. But if you wanted to start with a one, well, even though we don't see it, different first page, right? We're still numbering this page. Well, another fix here. If I go down to the number two, I'm going to right click on that number two. I'm going to go to format page numbers. This will open up my page number format window. And here, page numbering, we got continue from previous section or start at. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on start at. Now it says start at one, but remember, page one, my cover page, the number's still there. We just don't see it. Different first page. So if I do hit OK here, it's not on the cover page, not on the first page, but I still got a number two on my second page. Well, to fix that, it's kind of a little trick here. If I right click, go back to format page numbers, start at, I'm gonna start at zero. I'm sure zero goes in there, zero. I'll hit okay. Okay, no page number on my cover page, different first page, right? But down on the second page, I'm now starting at page one. Very cool. All right, so I've inserted a page break to break the pages, got my cover page, got my second page where my content actually starts. I've put in a footer. In this case, I've just put in a page number. And to keep it from showing up on the first page, we turn on the different first page option, and then we can format the page number appropriately. All right, so a couple of little techniques inside of there. Page breaks, different first page, and formatting your page numbers. Now let's take this even a step further. Now, let's imagine here on page two, I've got my header, and I say, you know what, this should be section one, content. Imagine you've got a larger document, maybe it's 20, 40, 60 pages in length. And throughout that document, you're going to have different subsections that you're going to be referencing for your users or the users of the document. So here I've labeled this as section one content. Now on page three, I'm going to now have section two content. Let's try this out. So if I hop down, I'm going to double click back into my page here and I'm going to insert another page break so that I start new content on the next page. So I'm just going to go back to layout breaks and I'm going to insert a page break. All right. So now I've got a page three. We can see my cursor's in there and I can see page three of three here. All right. So let's just say this is a new section for the document yada, 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 right? Put all our content in there. Oh, well, this is a new section about a new topic or a subtopic, so a different section topic. So now I wanna change the section number. So I'll double click my header. I'm gonna change that from a one to a two. But if I go back up to page two, I've now changed it there as well. Oh, so, no, okay. Well, this should be a one. So I change this to a one. This is section one content. I go back down to page three. Oh. Section one. Hey, no, I, I want section one to be on page one. I want section two to start, or excuse me, on page two. And I want section two to start on page three and so on. Well, page breaks are great. Love them. I use them all the time. Allows you to create a new page, break content across pages, okay, prematurely, right? Say, oh, this is where I want to break the page. Now put new content on a new page. But if you want to do something like what I'm trying to accomplish here, where I can have a different header 
on a different page or a different section in the document, then we're going to want to get into section breaks. All right, so I'm going to hop back up, get back into my document. I'm going to delete out that page break. My cursor is just to the left of the page break. And remember, if you don't see that, you can go to home, turn on the show hide, and you'll be able to see those as, among, as well as other characters. So my cursor is flashing there. I'm going to hit delete. We'll remove that. My content from page three moved up. That's okay. I'm going to say right here at the end of this paragraph, I now want to create a page break, but I want to introduce a new section as well. So with my cursor flashing there, I'll go back to layout, breaks, and this time I'm going to use the section break next page. I'll give that a click. Well, now we got a section break next page. My content got pushed down below. Random's going to delete out that enter. And really quickly here, I can now see my cursor's on page three that I am inside of section two. If I go back to page two, we'll see that I'm on. Let's try that again. You can see that we're on section one. So now I've got multiple sections inside this document. So now I can come down to page three, which is section two. And a little tip, if you're not seeing the section number down below, you can right click on the status bar, just that bar down at the bottom of your Microsoft Word screen. And inside of here, you'll see an option for section. And you can turn that option on and off so you can see what section you're currently working in. Now, I wanna put section two content up inside the header. Well, if I double click inside the header, there's really one more step that we need to do here. Up above, back inside the header and footer section, I'm gonna turn off the link to previous. I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm also gonna go down to the footer, and I'm gonna make sure that that is turned off as well. I don't wanna link these headers and footers to the previous section. So I've turned that off. I'm now gonna go into the header. We'll call this section two content. I'm gonna go down to the footer. I'll put in the page number, current position, simple plane. Oh, started at a zero. I'm gonna right click on that. Make sure I'm right on that format page number. And maybe this time I'm gonna say continue from previous. That way it picks up from the previous section, which was page one, page two, and so on. I'll hit okay. There's my two. There's my section two content header. There's page one and section one content. So now I can have a single document, but manage and maintain different headers for different sections throughout the document. Again, imagine you've got 10, 20, 30 pages inside of a document. I want pages two through eight to be one section with one header footer specific to that content, that section. And then starting on page nine, let's insert an, a section break and start to put in content there and add your header and footer specific for that section. So helping us maintain and manage large documents all through section breaks and page breaks. Make sure you try this out. Very cool technique. There's so much more that you can do with this. You can even change between sections, page settings. If you want to change margins or page orientation, you can do that utilizing sections. Maybe part of your document is within landscape mode, but another portion of your document, maybe you've got a chart and you want that inside of portrait or landscape mode, vice versa, whatever you want to do in there. You can change your page settings as well between those sections. So again, try this out, practice this technique. It takes a little bit of practice. There's a few moving parts inside there. You got to remember page breaks versus section breaks, linking to the previous, different first page, formatting your numbers. So make sure you rewind, rewatch portions of the video, whatever you need some help with. So also take advantage of the comment section down below. Let me know if you've got any questions there, what you've learned. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe to the video to get regular updates about videos that I post to the Office New channel. So until you get some practice in there, I'll see you in the next video.